मैं आपको नंबर वाइज बताता हूँ नंबर चार पे मोना नंबर पांच पे सानिया श्रद्धा छह पे खुशी सात श्वेता आठ हर्षिता नौ तमिलनाडु का लाइन अप आपके लिए इन सब के बीच में बॉल हैंडल को देखेगा जरूर दीप्ति उनके पास बॉल भी होगी अभी कैप्टन होंगी उनकी हरिमा नंबर फोर्टीन के पास बॉल जंपर बाहर से बिल्कुल कल क्या शूटिंग चली थी तमिलनाडु की खासकर क्वार्टर फोर में मध्य प्रदेश यहाँ पे को यूज किया अच्छा ड्राइवर वहां पे बढ़िया मौका था उनके पास स्कोरिंग ओपन करने का फर्स्ट फाउल और फर्स्ट फ्री थ्रो इस सेमीफाइनल्स का लेंगी सामिया वाधवानी बढ़िया बहुत ही उत्तम रिलीज यहां पे अमूमन देखा जाता है कि ये जो लंबे कद के खिलाड़ी होते हैं फ्री थ्रोज में स्ट्रगल करते हैं पर यहां पे कोई स्ट्रगल नहीं अच्छा रीबाउंड वहां पे फाइट देखिए कमिटमेंट देखिए प्लेयर्स का पुल ऑफ जंपर 45 से पहली शुरुआत तिक्के से लगाई यहां पे खुशी पाल सिंह ने चंचना बॉल दी उन्होंने कप्तान है श्री को बाउंस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रहेंगे इस मैच में यहां पे अच्छा फास्ट ब्रेक का मौका फंस गई बॉल वहां पे पोस्ट अटेम्प्ट नौ सेकेंड बाकी है शॉर्ट क्लॉक में अटेम्प्ट लेना ही पड़ेगा इन एंड आउट और ये कैप्टन का रीबाउंड जब बॉल दे दिया वहां पे आप देख पाएंगे स्क्रीन पे लेडी ऑफिशियल है वहां पे सोनल डाइवर्सिटी और इंक्लूजन के मामले में सबसे आगे बास्केटबॉल की फेडरेशन बहुत ही बढ़िया पुटबैक क्या मूव बनाया वहां पे मोना ने देखिए वहां पे रिबाउंड लिया और मोना गोस्वामी को कोई नहीं रोक पाया वहां ड्राइव इन यहां पे चंचना चन चन की आवाज आई रिंग से पर बास्केट में बॉल अंदर नहीं गई अच्छी रोटेशन फास्ट यहां पे मौका रहेगा आइसोलेट हो गई हैं रोक लिया थोड़ी मेचोरिटी वहां पे बॉल मिलते मूव कॉल करते हुए गुंडी यहां जीरो पे देखिए बीविंग चलती हुई ऑप्शन मिला अंदर जाने का बॉल के साथ लेन के लिए कोई गलती नहीं बना ये मूव देखिए दीप्ति का बढ़िया ले आप कैप्टन यहां पे तमिलनाडु की फ्री थ्रो लेने जाएंगी है
कैप्टन बॉल के साथ ड्राइव एंड करते हुए लेफ्ट और राइट दोनों तरफ ऑप्शन थे अच्छा डिफेंस वहां पे शूट करना चाहते थी पर उनके सामने थी सामिया और सामिया का सामना करना पड़ा उनको मुश्किल ऑप्शन वहां पे चंचना के पास एयर बॉल और ऑफेंसिव फाउल दिया वहां पे तमिलनाडु की टीम अग्रेशन लाती हुई रोटेशन यहां पे करिश्मा टू सामिया सामिया टू मोना क्या बढ़िया पासिंग चल रही है मध्य प्रदेश की बढ़िया मूव देखिए यहां पे सामिया ने देखा कि मोना खाली थी वहां पे लो पोस्ट पे बहुत ही बढ़िया फीड चंचना टॉप ऑफ द डी यहां फ्री थ्रो लाइन पे खिलाया इन एंड आउट लो पोस्ट मूव अच्छी डिफेंस चल रही है मध्य प्रदेश की यहाँ पे यहाँ पे करिश्मान बॉल लेके आई और जीरो पे खिलाया वहां पे खुशी को प्रेशर में एयर बॉल मार बैठी खुशी वहां पे प्रेशर फेस करती हूं मोना अच्छी रोटेशन वहां पे गुन्नी के पास बॉल ऑप्शन है मोना के पास इन एंड आउट यहां पे दीप्ती चंचना ड्राइव इन करने की कोशिश अच्छा डिफेंस वहां पे करिश्मा का गुन्नी 45 से फोर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट था सेट शूटर है सेट होके ही अटेम्प्ट लेना चाहिए ऑफ बैलेंस अटेम्प्ट 80% ऑफ द टाइम मिस होता है देखिए इंटेंसिटी यहां पे कोच है दिप्ती जिन्होंने अंडर प्रेशर फ्री थ्रोज लगाए थे कल लगातार देखिएगा बिल्कुल छोड़ने को नहीं तैयार अच्छा फीड वहां पे पोजिशनल प्ले अच्छा था फिनिश नहीं हो पाया सामिया से पर पोजिशनल प्ले बहुत ही बढ़िया गुलाब जंपर बाहर से इस बार नहीं लगा और फाउल रीच इन दिप्टी के विरोध देखनी थी कि ऑपरचुनिटी अच्छी ऑपरचुनिटी वहां पे फास्ट ब्रेक की और वहां पे प्रेशराइज किया बॉलमैन को और फाउल दे दिया वहां पे देखिएगा ऑफिशियल्स के टेबल पे सबकी निगाहें मैच पे 
यहाँ पे बेस लाइन ड्राइव और कप्तान की निगाह है सिर्फ और सिर्फ रिंग पे देखिए फेक किया लेफ्ट को और गई राइट बढ़िया मूव वहां पे बॉडी का पूरा यूज करती हैं ब्रॉड शोल्डर्स हैं उनके दो स्पेस बना के जाती हैं रिंग की तरफ अवेयरनेस बढ़िया बिल्कुल खुशी बॉल यहां पे 45 पे बढ़िया हासिल वहां पे और रिंग मिला अंदर देखिए हासिल लूज बॉल जरूर थी वहां पे और पकड़ के पुट बैक किया वहां मध्य प्रदेश को टाइम लेके अपने अटैम्प्ट्स बनाने चाहिए थे काफी फोर्स्ड अटैम्प्ट्स हो रहे हैं यहाँ पे मध्य प्रदेश के कोच जरूर एक बॉल हैंडलर को लाना चाहेंगे गेम कंट्रोल में आए उनके यहाँ पे दूसरी ओर हाइट एडवांटेज यूज करती हुई तमिलनाडु की टीम लगता है कोच ने हमारी बात सुन ली है चेंज वहां पे बॉल हैंडलर को इंट्रोड्यूस किया पिवेट प्लेन की स्ट्रेंथ है पर फ्री थ्रोज में 50 परसेंट तक ही रहता है उनका कन्वर्जन रेट दोनों में इसके वहां अच्छा रिबाउंड मोना खुशी के पास बॉल ड्राइविंग किया वहां पे लास्ट टच तमिलनाडु खुशी बॉल इनबाउंड करती हुई मध्य प्रदेश के लिए तो अच्छी रोटेशन बाहर मोना आके स्क्रीन लगाती है गिव एंड गो करने की कोशिश छह सेकेंड है शॉर्ट क्लॉक पे ये फोर्स अटैम्प्ट है एक और तमिलनाडु का डिफेंस बहुत ही बढ़िया शुरू के कुछ मिनट्स में मध्य प्रदेश यूज कर रही थी इस मूवमेंट को पर उसके बाद डिफेंस को टाइटन किया है तमिलनाडु ने खुशी का रिबाउंड गुनबी के पास बॉल पिंक शूज के साथ आप उन्हें मिस कर ही नहीं सकते हैं ड्राइव एन यहां पे गिव एन गो करने की कोशिश वहां सामिया के साथ पर उस मूव को पढ़ लिया वहां डिफेंस ने लास्ट बॉल टच येलो कहा ऑफिशियल ने देखिए एक्सप्लेन करते हुए और ये बहुत ही अच्छी बात है जब ऑफिशियल प्लेयर्स को एक्सप्लेन करते हैं अपना डिसीजन तो इससे कॉन्फिडेंस रहता है प्लेयर्स का ऑफिशियल पे कैप्टन का रिबाउंड मोना फिनिश नहीं कर पाए वहां पे गुंडी इंटरसेप्शन पीछे से आई है स्टील वहां प्रेशर देखिए टाइम लेके मूव बनाना चाहिए इनको हाइट को यूज किया पाउ लिया वहां पे अच्छा मूव सानिया का एक 
Ich sehe ihn da Pause. Mein Minister ist gewandt, ich habe ein bisschen mehr. Das ist 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 ein bisschen mehr. और उनको संभालने के लिए एक ही जवाब है मध्य प्रदेश के पास और वो है सामिया अगर सामिया वाडवानी अपनी करियर का बेस्ट मैच खेलती हैं तो मध्य प्रदेश के पास जरूर एक चांस रहेगा उनके बिना तो बिल्कुल ही इम्पॉसिबल है जैसे ही हम उनकी बात कर रहे थे वहाँ इंजरी ये बहुत ही क्रूशियल मोमेंट हो सकता है मध्य प्रदेश के लिए देखिए वो अपने स्क्रीन पे आप देख सकते हैं उनकी जो लैंडिंग फुट था उनका आप ओपनेंट के फुट पे अगर लैंड करते हैं तो अनस्टेबल रहती हैं और एंकल में जो आपके टेंडेंस होते हैं और लिगमेंट्स हो वो बहुत इजीली टेयर हो जाते हैं और हम होप करेंगे कि कुछ मेजर टेयर नहीं हो उनका कभी कार कभी कबार आप आफ्टर दी इंजरी थोड़ा वॉक करेंगे तो ठीक हो जाता है ये वहाँ पे अपने स्क्रीन के फार कॉर्नर में आप देख सकते हैं ट्रीटमेंट लेती हैं सामिया यहाँ पे उनकी जगह पे फ्री थोड़ी लेंगी श्वेता सिंह दूसरा फ्री थोड़ा कन्वर्ट किया वहाँ पे फ्री थ्रोस बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट हो गई अभी मध्य प्रदेश के लिए क्योंकि अगर सामिया गेम में वापस नहीं आएंगी तो उनके बिना आउटसाइड शूटिंग और फ्री थ्रो कन्वर्जन बहुत जरूरी मध्य प्रदेश के लिए दो कन्वर्जन से यहाँ पे खुशी पाल सिंह यहाँ पे दीप्ति के पास बॉल पांच पॉइंट की लीड जरूर है मध्य प्रदेश के पास एडवांटेज देखिए वहाँ पे मोना का अच्छा रिबाउंड पास ब्रेक की ऑपरेशनिटी रहेगी और बढ़िया फिनिश वहाँ पे अंडर प्रेशर देखिए गुनवी ने रिसीव की बॉल वहाँ पे और अच्छा मूव असेस्ट वहाँ पे अच्छा और जितना बढ़िया असेस्ट उतना ही बढ़िया फिनिश करिश्मा करिश्मा और गुंडी के बीच में थोड़ी कंफ्यूजन वहां पे बॉल छोटी खुशी से और उसके फलस्वरूप दूसरी ओर पड़ी बास्केट दीप्ति का बढ़िया पास वहां पे और कोई गलती नहीं पोस्ट अटेम्प्ट फिर से सेट अटेम्प्ट्स लेने की जरूरत वहाँ पे तीन सेकंड बाकी इस क्वार्टर में अवेयरनेस की कमी शॉट क्लॉक की अवेयरनेस नहीं वहाँ पे प्लेयर कोश शूटी भाग नहीं पाई सिचुएशन को
पॉइंट वन सेकेंड इमीडिएटली अटेम्प्ट लेने की कोशिश रहेगी मोना की कोशिश पर बढ़िया क्वार्टर ये मध्य प्रदेश के लिए फर्स्ट क्वार्टर की समाप्ति पे मध्य प्रदेश चौदह तमिलनाडु ग्यारह So as we begin the next quarter, we welcome into the commentator's box, Mr. Anupam Sharma. Uh, welcome, Anupam. Good first quarter for us. There's a definite height advantage for Tamil Nadu uh, right now because Samia got injured for Madhya Pradesh and she's sitting outside. So in her absence, there's a huge height advantage for Tamil Nadu with uh, their captain number 14. And also they're playing uh, number 13 as well. So clear height advantage for Tamil Nadu. Without Samia, it's going to be difficult for Madhya Pradesh. And just as we speak, that three-point lead is down to a single point. And some full-court pressure being applied by Tamil Nadu. Ready? 
It's a good three point lead for Madhya Pradesh, and they'll be quite happy that they've been able to hold their own in Samia's absence. Muna Goswami is having a really good game. Could have easily been a backward violation. Needs to pass the ball. Forced attempt there. She dribbles quite well, Karishma, but the finish not really up to the mark. Needs to find a dish out pass at the end. Good move to the basket. Crucial rebound. Madhya Pradesh still holding on to that three point lead. Here's Kushi being watched carefully by Joanna. Baseline cut. Good positional play, low post, pe. position banaya waha pe, foul liya, taken jaise kehte hai hum English mein. Good play Anupam. Six minutes and 58 seconds left in this uh, second quarter and wonderful to hear the kind of initiatives that are being part of uh, this Kelo India revolution that's taking place in India over the last six to seven years. And uh, as an outcome of uh, these kind of tournaments, we have seen fantastic uh, distribution of talent across the country. What I feel is bo it's going to be a uh, tough match between uh, Tamil Tamil Nadu and MP. But the progression which is uh, happening here as, uh, as we see uh, it's not uh, going to be an easy a match for both of them.
Now there is a three point attempt from MP. It's a good rebound inside the paint. As the Tamil Nadu steal the ball. Now again, a three point attempt. It's a mess. Ball went out of bounds. What do you feel about uh, Kelo India uh, development in India? What uh, we are getting, what the players are getting the benefit of uh, this uh, Kelo India program and all. Uh, will you please explain, Anupam, what what the benefits which uh, that will be helping our um, people to get to know? That's a great initiative from the C. Um, now again, coming back to the game, Tamil Nadu steal the ball. Score is 21 all now in the second quarter. Now Tamil Nadu gets an attack. That was a great strategy from uh, Mr. Rakesh Rao, uh, uh, Rajesh Rao, to break the rhythm of the Tamil Nadu team, which they are getting now. So, And Commissioner Dr. Prince came at him. See a three-point attempt from just number seven of MP, and uh, she converted that basket. Pushy from MP. Again, Kushi done a three point for MP. If you are leaving Kushi uh, to go for an attempt like this, the Kushi will make all the three points. And it will be very difficult for Tamil Nadu to get back into the game. Again, MP is in the lead. Now, Tamil Nadu getting a two point attempt inside the paint, and the score is 25 27 in favor of MP.
Shweta Singh in. Karishma is going out and Shweta in. A short clock violation. It was a good defense by Tamil Nadu team. Again, a three point attempt from Tamil Nadu. It's a miss. The rebound taken by Tamil Nadu team again. Now again, a transit from uh, the foul committed by Tamil Nadu. Anubam, you can see whenever transit happen uh, to uh, to the opponent team, uh, it it's become a fast break, and uh, uh, Tamil Nadu is getting under pressure and uh, getting into the foul trouble. What will be the strategy for covering up this uh, in the in in the game of basketball? So that means there should be a defensive balance always, uh, which uh, coaches always used to uh, take, uh, insist and uh, taken into the account. Again, Tamil Nadu in attack. There was a long pass, cross pass. You can see in replay the cross pass and long pass. And it was a great, good basket. Whenever, whenever Kushi is trying to penetrate inside the paint, uh, Tamil Nadu is playing with a double defense, and double defense is committing, committing, converting into a uh, foul. So always the strategy what uh, MP is using to get inside the paint and get the Tamil Nadu defense into trouble. And they are getting continuous uh, free shots. The first shot converted. Player is ready, number 13. Gunvi is ready for the second free shot. And she converted the basket. Score is 27-30 in favor of MP.
It is an out of bounds ball. Tamil Nadu taking the throw in. A drive in. That's a miss. MP Samya Vandana is still uh, limping on the field. She got injured in the first match. And uh, I appreciate the players' confidence and commitment towards the game. A two point shot. Again from Gunvi. To the three point attempt and converted. Transit and Tamil Nadu gone for a shot. And the score is 32 all. The dying seconds of uh, the first second quarter. But now we have 30 seconds left. Second time Tamil Nadu. Second time in the match, Samal Dadu coming to the lead. <laughs> Number 15, Samya got injured and referee stopped the match. for a substitution. Whatever happens here now, the three continuous baskets which Tamil Nadu has made is all by steel. And steel is done by, the mistake is done by um, MP, test number 11. And Tamil Nadu was totally alert to intercept the ball and get all the three balls and getting back for a fast break. And that makes Tamil Nadu to get the four point lead. Now, now coming back to the benefits what uh, players are getting uh, from Kelo India is uh, per year 6.28 lakhs and uh, pocket money of uh, per year 1.2 lakhs per month 10,000 rupees and 5.8 lakh 5. 08 lakhs accommodation lodging uh, uniforms playing kids utensils this all uh, they are getting from the government and they the kelo india having running nine academies across the india uh, akansha academy bangalore dps kelo india academy rajas rajan gao yps rajan gao St. Angeles, uh, Mumbai, NB Academy, indoor, only for girls. Bidar, Vijayanagar, Bangalore, Vidyanagar, Bangalore, Rai Sports School, Sonipat, Ahmedabad, DBS. It's a day boarding. Uh, 
that's except the last one uh, ahmedabad balance all are boarding facilities only one is day boarding so this is the academy where uh, basketball is happening Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching the first semi-finals in the women's division, Kelo India, being brought to you exclusively on the Doorjalshan network. You must be catching this game on the YouTube stream. I caught someone in the crowd today, Anita P. Padmashri, former Tamil Nadu player, India international alongside us. Anita, how is the level of the game right now? What do you think about? First of all, I'm really happy that Kelo India is conducting in Tamil Nadu in Coimbatore. and uh, i'm i'm the part of it right now i'm really happy to watch the games and the uh, main thing is uh, before the facilities and everything is a vast changes and the main thing is the ex exposure because when i was playing there is a less matches now the kelo india is the main uh, uh, upcoming for the all the youngsters that the kelo youth games kelo university games is the vast changes for the all the sports actually and the technical wise i want to say like now before and now there is no statistics and all now we have the statistical coaches and everything so lot of changes and i'm really want to uh, like congratulations all the governments <laughs> i think there is a lot of coordination also that's taking place these days today with the central government the state government junior level senior level uh, let me let me go back to the 90s when you would have been playing at probably the junior levels right how many tournaments were you playing back then and just if you can tell me the difference in maybe court conditions so that the viewers can also understand the change um the facilities i want to say bc i operated my knee almost 3 to 4 times before because there is only cement court here now we are having the this type of indoor court as and the main thing is youngsters is like because of this these matches when they are going for the foreign exposures they are like there is no changes they are feel like the same court what they are playing so that is the main change and i want to really thank the central government because the fit and also the main because before and us there is no fitness importance now we have the fitness is the main role and all the all of the country we are doing fitness right now so the fit india kelo and is the main main changes for the all the sports i feel absolutely i think when uh, our prime minister mr narendra modi said fit india i think it has just galvanized every young person in the country i think gym subscriptions are through the roof coaching centers are packed right now are you still involved in basketball right now how is basketball in tamil nadu at the junior levels are there more kids coming in parents bringing them in actually now i am coaching for the indian team i coach for under 16 and under 18 as well as 3x3 um in always uh, tamil nadu is the main strong team in basketball and uh, uh, now uh, at the central government they focused on uh, 13 that is the main role because we are missing the grassroots now the government is fixed for the uh, grassroots so now the tamil nadu doing a great job the, uh, now the federation also changed and we are uh, our southern only taken out and uh, we are doing lots of planning for the professional leagues and everything so probably we will go uh, a lot of grassroots work also taking place so on and so forth um in terms of uh, the equipment available right shoes from back in the day you mentioned the three knee surgeries and things like that is there a change in the mindset of parents also investing more in you know sports for their children uh last 5 6 years only this uh, dramatic changes was happened because of the central government because before they won't see the sports now the, all the parents are asking me which sport is suitable for my children that type of knowledge they have my parents are not educated much they doesn't know about the sports now the parents are if they are not educated also they are coming and coming and asking for the what the sports will be fit for my uh, children so that type of changes is right now i used to say that fitness now the all everyone is uh, fitness is important so the infrastructure uh, and uh, we have lots of foreign coaches also so the educated level so everything is coming up so i feel just the players has to play because before there is no shoes and nothing is there now you see the kelo india they are giving track suits or t-shirts everything they have packs and they are going so the players just they want to play because they are getting everything compared to last uh, few years players getting everything that's the spirit of kelo india to take sport to every youth across the country uh, anita one last thing about this tournament 
How do you rate this Tamil Nadu side? Who are the players that you really like watching? Um, overall in the tournament, if you've seen any of the other players, especially in the women's division. Um, actually, uh, Tamil Nadu, we have lots of two to three players or current Indian team players. They are playing good actually. And in the Punjab side, they have two good players. And even I really uh, like the watch of playing Madhya Pradesh also. They have a good height and the physics and every combining playing. I think uh, in future, like under 18 team, Indian team will be more good, I feel, because of seeing these matches. Absolutely. I've been watching basketball for almost 20 years now. I've never seen such a strong UP side, MP side, right? It's really nice to see, especially at the youth level, such strong teams. see that because of the side, because they are giving lots of schemes in there. Because if you see the Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, they are the, they are the sides of very, you know, that Adi side, they are coming and they are playing. Because in build, they have the strong... So it's a big thanks to the Sai only. <laughs> Sports Authority of India, thank you for putting this together. I'm with Anita P. Padmashri, former international star of uh, Indian basketball and also having played multiple years for Tamil Nadu. Thank you so much for taking time and uh, giving us a few moments. Thanks a lot. I'm enjoying the game. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Thank you. With that, we'll take you back to the commentator's box. Live action coming up for you on the Doodarshan Network. The first semi-finals in the women's division, Tamil Nadu taking on Madhya Pradesh. Okay, all set for proceedings in the second half. It's 36-32, Tamil Nadu leading by four. After a fantastic uh, first quarter by Madhya Pradesh, in the second quarter, Tamil Nadu showcasing their class, coming to the fore. Good attempt, good finish. Now you can see driving through, through and through. And a nice release from the left hand, scoring in time. Thirty-six, thirty-four. Nice to see Samia back on the court. Her presence on the court, very important. It's very difficult to play a game of basketball without the right height. Interception there. The captain, through and through. Good offensive rebound. That's a conversation. There you see, no boxing out taking place by Madhya Pradesh. Without boxing out, you cannot claim the rebounds. Here's Kushi. Pull up just beyond the reach. Good hustle for the ball. Fantastic commitment. Defend, defend. 
on the floor but not letting go. Good ball distribution on the perimeter. Opportunity now for Sanya to call the play. Rebounds really crucial for Madhya Pradesh. Without the rebounds, it's going to be really tough. Good ball rotation. Open look from zero. She makes it count. What a finish. Clutch player, clutch time. No mistakes. Take a look at that baseline drive. Good feed there in the paint. Foul and count. Over dribble. Kushi being watched carefully by her defense. Mona, five seconds on the shot clock. Fouled as she went up. Rajesh, senior level coach, he's also one of the talent spotters for this competition. Dipti and Joanna combining really well yesterday and today. Good ball distribution, Dipti. Looking for that pass. No stopping Harima. Look at that pass. Spotting her beautifully. And with her height advantage, there's hardly anything anyone can do. The captain playing a captain's innings. Pull up jumper by Harima. No stopping her. Joanna and Dipti contributing really well with their distribution skills. 
It's one of the key reasons why Tamil Nadu have been able to pull away in the second half. Playing with two suppliers, two feeders on the court. Harima once again. Unstoppable in the paint. Grab and go. And once you get some momentum as a player, your confidence goes through the sky and then everything starts going in. I'm sure the coach Rajesh there is instilling it in his players that you still have a chance. We still can make a comeback into this game. And if you have any potential, you must make it work. There you can see the moves being discussed. There seems to be some play there about using the low post pivot. Probably some drive-ins happening on the baseline and then eventually a dish out pass to the low post. Let's see if that plan works out. Nice to see his intensity. So there's a lot of conversation, but if you see there is not much anger. Sometimes anger can be a distraction. Coaches might get frustrated with the players performing on the field. And if they become too angry, the players become less receptive. The crowd here enjoying the display by this Tamil Nadu girls team. Seventeen point lead. Madhya Pradesh. They were up by three at the end of the first quarter. Trailing by four at the end of the second. But then since then, quarter three has been all about Tamil Nadu. Drive in, dish out pass, open look. No luck there. Karishma. Joanna. Good feed for Shruti. Open look for the basket. Nice rebound by Shruti. Here's Dipti on the ball. Drives in, outlet pass. Here's Joanna. Has an open look. Shruti. Pull-up jumper from 45. Almost a board attempt. Oshin Singh launching that from outside. Dipti drives in. Good pass to Shruti. She's not making any mistakes today. Clear height advantage for Tamil Nadu. And the girls are determined to make that count. Take a look at that. Oshin Singh spins around and gets the roll from the ring. Mona. Not on this occasion. Joanna. Open look. Nice rebound by Mona. On the transition is Kushi. Nice lane. This time uses her left. Let's take a look at that crossover dribble if possible. Here's Joanna. Dipti. Harima. Uses that body. I'll call Sonil there, the official, watchful as ever.
Nice pass there. In the paint. Gets the roll from the ring. Shruti. She was hoping for a call from the official, but nothing came. 56-42, 14 point game. After the timeout, performance from Madhya Pradesh has been a lot better. Some electronic challenges, that's why the game has stopped the shot clock not winding down at the speed it should. Ora being watched carefully by Shruti. Oshin with that layup, no luck. Here's Joanna now. Good outlet pass. Here's an opportunity now. Outnumbering them on the defense. Joanna, nice pass. Telegraphed a little bit. Joanna on the ball again. Last touch, blue. Cheers, Koshi. Nice floater all the way. You can see some full court press. They can see that drive in. Koshi pulsing. Smooth floater. Outlet pass now. Joanna will call the shots. Just short and nice rebound there. Good hustle between the two players. Fast break opportunity. Can Oshin make it count? Yes, she can. Are we seeing a comeback here? Ten points separating these two sides. Take a look at that pass, spotting the free player. One bounce, not needed. Oshin off the glass for two. Let's take a look at that score now. 56-46, 10 point lead for Tamil Nadu. Madhya Pradesh definitely mounting a comeback. It's interesting to observe that when Samia is not playing, the production for Madhya Pradesh seems to improve. The offense seems to improve because they bring in more agility. But the downside of that is that if Harima, who's the captain of uh, Tamil Nadu, is on the court for Tamil Nadu, they find it really hard to stop her without the presence of Samia. So it's, it's a balance that the coach Rajesh has to maintain. Let's see if uh, the story will be different in the minute that's left in this third quarter and in the fourth quarter, the whole 10 minutes that they will have. Good hustle there by Deepthi on the baseline. Good rotation by Tamil Nadu. One second on the shot clock. Here's Oshin. Three on two. Can they make it count? Mona Singh. Shruti stops the dribble. Ball rotation. Open look from outside. Shruti cuts the line. I might have said Mona Singh, but it's not Mona Singh. Number four for Madhya Pradesh is Mona Goswami. Nine 
19 seconds left in this third quarter. Oshin spinning into the paint. In traffic. Pull up jumper and that's it. Under pressure basket by Shruti. Three seconds left on the shot clock. On the quarter clock. And once again, Shruti not too aware. And this time I would blame the coach. You need to manage your personal better. It was a baseline throw. He could have substituted the players to have players who have more awareness. Not the players' fault. Balance between appreciation and criticism. That's the job at the youth levels. Nice score. Confirmation. Fifth. Madhya Pradesh in this third quarter. At the start of the quarter, off the blocks, Tamil Nadu were much faster. Probably because uh, Samya had joined in for Madhya Pradesh, slowing down the overall agility of the side. There's a look at the officials for the game, also getting a breather. Basketball is the second fastest uh, sport. Sisse, Devashish and Sonal. Inbounds the ball. Harima. Too strong. Just too strong. And yesterday against Maharashtra, Maharashtra had done a good defensive job against Harima because they had broad-shouldered pivot players who were able to handle the weight that she brings into the game. At the other end today, Madhya Pradesh struggling to deal with that weight and body presence. Good crossover dribble. Watched carefully by Deepthi. Off the screen. Pull up jumper. Doesn't go in. Harima with a powerful rebound. Here's Deepthi. Into traffic. There's enough time on the shot clock. Good rebound by Harima. Foul and count. Take a look at that. The attempt was in the air. Grabs that rebound and immediately gets fouled. I believe the call went against Shweta. So Harima now at the line for two free throws. Free throw is not really her strength. This time she gets the roll from the ring. Kushi with the ball for Madhya Pradesh. Oshin tries to drive through traffic. Recent foul spotted by the official. Sideline throw as there's only one foul committed by Tamil Nadu so far in this quarter. Oshin inbounds to Kushi. Kushi trying to work off the screen. Gets an open look at the basket. Harima a little out of position. Rightfully finds Anina. Pull up jumper. Mona. Mona goes swami with the ball. Foul as she went up against the pivot player.
Schweta with another free throw attempt. Couple of unforced errors there by Tamil Nadu. Violation. Shweta. Oshin. Shweta again. Mona Goswami. Good rebound by Tamil Nadu. Here they come with Dipti. Outnumbering possible because she's so fast. Dipti goes a baseline drive. She'll be looking for Harima. But not Harima this time. Looking for Harima. Yes, it's Harima. And when Harima gets the ball in those positions, she makes no mistakes. She, with an impossible attempt, almost went in for her. Good hustle underneath the ring. Mona Goswami having a fantastic game. What a player. At the other end, it's 14. Harima. Rosalind, air ball. Fast break opportunity. Oshin with the ball. Shweta with a good hustle there. Yellow ball. Changed her mind eventually. The three officials discussed it and then figured, no, it's a blue ball. Here's Dipti on the transition. Has Harima to her left. Pull up jumper from way outside. Good hustle. What a fantastic rebound by Mona. Outlet pass. This time it's Oshin. Will she go on her own? Foul taken. Good move to the basket. Confident move to the basket by Oshin. She'll go to the free throw line for two. Sixty-one fifty-two. Nine point lead for Tamil Nadu. Six minutes left. I can hear all of Madhya Pradesh chanting, come on, come on, Oshin. She called. We don't want to be entering the pivot area before the ball is released. Interesting change on the floor. Rosalind takes a break. We have a young star on the court. Good two points there. The crucial time now, extending that lead to double digits. Shweta. Tejashree. Tejashri with that rebound, offensive board not letting go. Jump ball signaled, and this time it's going to be ball possession. Madhya Pradesh. Oshin checks out of the game, and in her place comes number five, Sanya. Sanya Prada. Pushing. 
attempt from way outside. It's an interesting release angle. Slightly unconventional release. There you can see that technique that she has. It's a little unconventional. But three points nonetheless. At the other end, Tamil Nadu converts. And when they convert, the crowd responds. Shruti on the free throw line to make it a three point play. She's having a good game under pressure, but definitely having a good game. Good grab by Shruti. Has Harima to help. Harima, powerful move. But gets the lower part of the board. Here comes Kushi for Madhya Pradesh. Transition basketball all the way and fouled in the paint. This one goes against Athiya. Koshi. Madhya Pradesh needs to convert these free throws. Otherwise, without this, it's going to be really hard. Harima with that rebound. Good hustle there. Good ball rotation by Tamil Nadu, showcasing the maturity here. Harima taking on two players, and even the two can't stop her. What a strong, powerful, pivot player she is. Dipti with the ball, in transition. Anthea feeds Harima, fouled on her way in. Good conversion on the first one. So he changes on the floor. There were six players from Madhya Pradesh on the floor at that moment. The officials are spotting that. Good ball distribution. Anthea finds Rosalind. Deepthi. 
Ampia. Taking their time. Good drive by Dipti. Looks for Shruti. Here's Kushi. Mona Goswami. Nice move to the basket. Just unlucky with the ring. Oshin takes one. Step and nets it. Beautiful move. Harima, beautiful through pass. And she has a beautiful finish, both the left hand and the right. No hesitation. If it's on the left, she can release from the left. If it's on the right, she can release from the right. Oshin, reach and foul. Oshin on the free throw line. Three minutes and 11 seconds left. 13 points. It's not impossible. But a lot of these free throws will need to go in. Without that, it's going to be too hard for Madhya Pradesh. Let's watch and wait. Are we going to get a closer nail biting finish than we did yesterday? Nadu fouled air, bumped on the floor. Anthea Daisy. Full foul count for both these sides. So every infringement on the floor is a free throw. Congrats, the first. Kushi, outlet pass. A little too strong there, a little too strong. But a set shooter, you are not expected to miss that bad. Anthea, back at the free throw line for Tamil Nadu. That's the beauty of this Tamil Nadu side. Both the ball handlers shoot so well. It's hard to you know, commit fouls and hope for them to miss because usually they can convert anywhere around 60 to 70 percent of their free throws. And here converts the second. And the crowd enjoying every moment. Here's Kushi with that drive in. Looking for Harima. Here's Anthea. Pull up jumper from zero. Here's Kushi. Off the board. It's a good angle for a board shot. At the 45, using the angle. 
Ditti decides to go in on her own. And what a finish. Right between the door, there's two bodies. And she just found a way in. And that's the three. This one, Sanya. Sanya Vijay Pradha. Harima at the other end. One minute and 41 seconds left. Can Madhya Pradesh create any more opportunities for three point attempts? Dipti looking for Anthea. Good steal there. Good move. Spinning out of trouble there. Gundi Agarwal. Let's watch that again on the slow mo. Spins. And the two. Rosalind, open look. Harima with the rebound. Anthea. This time the rebound goes to Oshin. Outlet pass. Just not Mother Pradesh's day. 50. Slowing things down. 48 seconds left. Enjoying this victory. Rosalind. Pull up jumper. No good. This time it's Anthea. She's like, let's calm down. Dipti. Anthea. Dipti again. Shruti. Harima. Anthea. And Rosalind. Good ball rotation. 25 seconds left. It's a formality now. Tamil Nadu definitely going to be the first team in the finals. No luck. Hustle on the floor with uh, 10 seconds left. Mona Goswami missing that point. As Deepthi taking her time. And the crowd roars all around me. I don't know if you can hear the crowd. The crowd is so loud, I can hardly hear myself. Joy. That's the emotion. Excitement. That's the feeling. Victory. That's the result. What an impressive team this has been. Yesterday, almost lost out to Maharashtra. We made a comeback in that third quarter and saw things through. And in this game, Madhya Pradesh gave them a good run in that first quarter. Second quarter was close. The third quarter, Tamil Nadu created some gap between them. In the fourth, there was a hint of a comeback. But then eventually, the class of this Tamil Nadu side shone through. 78-65. 13 point victory for Tamil Nadu. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this first semi finals. Tamil Nadu took on Madhya Pradesh, and when they started, both these teams they were considered even, but definitely the favourites were Tamil Nadu. Not many would have given a chance to Madhya Pradesh, but Madhya Pradesh definitely started strong. But eventually, it was the outside shooting of Tamil Nadu and the presence of this lady, Harima Sondri. What a game she's had as a captain once again. Let's not forget this tiny top, Joanna, along with the key ball handlers for Tamil Nadu. Spectacular. Brilliant distribution. Both of them driving in on multiple occasions and then finding Harima or Shruti. And the number 13, Rosalind as well with some key contributions from the outside. 
That's the combination I was talking about. Dipti and Harima. Potent for Tamil Nadu. Let's not forget this side from Madhya Pradesh. Some fantastic performances. Mona Goswami, the number four. She was absolutely brilliant, especially in that first half. But the bench strength, not as good as the first five for Madhya Pradesh. And hence, as these players tired, it became really difficult. Mona Goswami with a good game. Sanya came in and tried to add some energy in the second half. Kushipal Singh had some crucial three-pointers. A couple of them go in for her. Shweta Singh brought in some presence in the paint. Oshim with some driving in as well. There's Gunvi as well. And Samya unfortunately got injured sometime in that first quarter. But what a performance by both these sides. And uh, we'll be back soon with the second semi-final for the day. It's going to be the first semi-final in the men's division. Trust me, that's going to be exciting. Wherever you are, drop things and be there. We'll be back soon. on the Doodasha network from Pre-SG Medical Grounds Indoor Stadium. What a fantastic venue we've had and we've reached the telling times of this tournament. The Kalo India Championships exclusively on these YouTube channels. If you're watching this game, you're going to be enjoying this action. Punjab taking on the host, Tamil Nadu. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be energetic. It's going to be power-packed. Let's take a look at that Tamil Nadu side. I'll go number-wise. Uh, number four, Sachin. Look out for Murthan Whale, number five. Arvind, number six. Sachin, number 12. The star player, Pragalathan, number 10. Uh, Suganthan, number eight. Deepak, number nine. Look out for Krishna Kumar as well, number 11. The distributor, Sam Lakshmi Jacob. Bala, number 13. Abhimanyu, 14. And uh, the tall, Degamitran, number 15. That's the team from Punjab now on your screens. Amandeep, Jaddo, Babu, Harkim Rath, Simran Jyoth, Bibek, Balraj, Gurminder, Sabjit, Bhanu Pratap Sood, Jamsangam and Ujwal. There's Tamil Nadu with an opportunity to get the ball moving. Good defensive rebound by Punjab. More from his players, good distribution. Bhanu Pratap launching that three. Nice rebound there in the crowd, in traffic was Japsangam. to open their scoring soon, get the crowd behind them. Had a big loss yesterday. Rajasthan taking it to the cleaners, but on this occasion, smooth and easy, nice pass back. Check out the move, underneath the basket, cutting in at the right time, then an easy finish by Suganathan. Last touch, yellow. Red safety official. So it's going to be yellow ball. You need a little bit of luck when it comes to some of these calls. 
Both these teams are going to be very even. Pragalatan. Rejected at the ring. Tough defense by Punjab. On the transition here is Jaduman. Back to Jadu. Doing just that, just asking his team to settle down. Wanting some calmness on the court. Blocking there, using the body, obstructing the player. The coach in tests as ever. Giving the piece of his mind to some of the players. Different experience coaching a boys' team and coaching a girls' team. Jadu misses both free throws, will be disappointed. Power there. Sahib Ji. Ball to be inbounded by Bhanu. Jaddu with the ball. Nice pass there. But equally good defense by Tamil Nadu. Here they come on the transition. Just being rejected by the ring. Luck not in favor of Murtung Vale. Rebound. Opportunity for them to settle down once again. Line cut. Tough defense being played by both these sides. Just three points in all between the two of them, and they are almost three minutes into this game. Neither of these teams yet are settled into their offense. Here comes Tamil Nadu. All the way on his own. Bragalathan, no stopping this boy. Nadu. Jadu. Carefully looking for Manu. Love jumper from way outside, short. Front end of the ring. On the transition. Pragalathan. Look at the awareness and equal accuracy with the distribution. On the transition. 6 1. And such has been the nature of this contest. We are just three and a half minutes in. There's a timeout taken on the floor. You just want to arrest the momentum right away. Punjab not wanting to give the crowd an opportunity to get behind the Tamil Nadu side. And very taking a tactical timeout here. Calling them away. Getting you these pictures from courtside, inside that huddle. Punjab asking for this timeout.
They can see in the foreground the official, Anupam Sharma, telling the players, let's get back, let's get going. It's become a part and parcel of the game. The referee is having to chase the players back onto the court after the timeouts. Babuman, Chaddu. Good defense, very good defense. Just not giving him the opportunity. Good outlet pass. Shot. Here's an opportunity. Three on one. All the way on his own. Tamil Nadu hurting Punjab on the transition. Hanu. Good outlet once again. The crowd getting into it. Abhimanyu. Sometimes these timeouts can be counterproductive. The timeout taken by Punjab to arrest the momentum, but right after the timeout, the momentum still with Tamil Nadu. In fact, if it's not worse, perhaps. Driving in, baseline cut. point lead for Tamil Nadu. Just shot on that pull-up jumper once again on the transition. Nice interception, better transition defense by Punjab. for ballman pressure now Punjab. Pragalathan from way outside. Offensive rebound. Shocker. Punjab will be cussing themselves. Better box out required. Abhimanyu there. Two points for Tamil Nadu. At the other end. Just no luck from the ring. Sure, he must be frustrated inside. As a coach, you can stand outside, give all the instructions that the players need to perform. Short again, this time awareness once more. His own rebound. Milton Wales spins. Losing control on the ball there. Vivek Singh. Tough defense. Feeding the pivot. Nice move by Abhimanyu, rejected there. Not in front of me, says Sahib Jeet Singh. What a block. Inbound for Tamil Nadu. Pull up jumper right away by Pragalathan because the shot clock had wound down. Tactically, 
some tweaks required for Punjab. The transition defense has been rather poor. Probably will have to learn from the experience of Rajasthan yesterday. Rajasthan were brilliant on the transition defense. But that really hurts Tamil Nadu. At the other end, a good substitution by the coach. Bringing in this young man, Vivek Singh. Good defensive hustle and now on the production side as well. Good awareness. Sahib Jeet. Jumper on the dribble, swoosh basket. Vivek drives in, nice pass in the paint. Beautiful fake there by Saibjit. Check this out, goes baseline, waits for Abhimanyu to jump all over him, and then off the glass for two. Let's see that once again. We need to watch that once again. What a move to the basket. Lovely. Babu Man hands that over. Nice move. Gurmandir. ball Ooh. way outside once again it's Vivek Vivek Singh takes that screen uses that screen unchallenged three A good screen here Mithun Vail, Vivek on the defense now. Just making it really tough. Sahib Jit asks for help, gets the help. Vivek sends that floater. It's nice to see the expression of the coach after Vivek made that lane. Coach saying, attack the ring. Why do you want to float the ball? Tamil Nadu sensing some momentum for Punjab. Notice how they slow down the game. Pragalathan. Sachin. Abhimanyu. We have a tall pivot player who is playing out of position and he's able to sink a three. Wow. Brilliantly done. It's going to go to the free throw line, number 11 for Punjab. Gurmandir Singh. on the ball but didn't get the direction that way. One gets a feeling this Punjab team has not really warmed up yet. They are capable of a lot more. The two tall pivot players haven't yet combined, number 14 and number 12. Jab Sanjam and uh, Sahajit Singh yet to find their mark in this game.
Jaddu checks back into the game for Punjab. To take the level up on the distribution skills. The Tupac is everywhere. Timeout taken on the floor. 10 point lead for Tamil Nadu. Amar Anupam and Ajmer. Ajmer, Amen. Ajmer on your right, Anupam on your left. Moment for them to get a break. Ice hockey, the fastest sport on the planet, and basketball, the second most fastest. So, officials getting a break is also a good idea. So, we have some astronauts from NASA, some representatives from Under Armour, all in the crowd today. Ten point lead for Tamil Nadu. Different story from yesterday's match against Rajasthan. Quarter two about to begin. Nice pass, bounce pass to low post. Abhimanyu fouled as he went up to score. Jit, number 12, Chap Sanjam, number 14, the two of them on Abhimanyu, but even then, uh, the man was able to claim the foul. Turnover, opportunity for Punjab, can they make it count? Under pressure there, jump ball. And sometimes the coach needs to be aware. He's a substitute player, Bibek Singh. He's had a good few moments. And he needs to change him out. And that's exactly what the coach does. Gives him a break. Sometimes you have to understand your bench players can give you three or four good transitions. But then after that, you want your main five to come back into the game. Man, for the pull-up. Doesn't get going. Chaddu once again. This time he's closer and this time he makes no mistake. Watch that attempt. Gets his own rebound and uncontested. Easy too. Mirtun Bale. Good defense. Nice quick hands there. Babuman gets the roll from the ring. Chaps on jump. Eventually follows Babuman all the way. Chaps on jump there for that rebound. And once he gets it, puts it back. Pragalathan being pressurized off the screen. 
Good defense there by Punjab. Mirtung Whale. Sachin gets an open look. Nice rebound. Here comes Jaddu. Set shooter. Good distribution from Jaddu Man. Drives in, finds the open man, and when he found the open man, Gurmandir Singh just nails that three. Mirtun Vail, outlet pass. This time for Sachin. Hundred percent commitment. I hope he's okay. Going right through the hoarding there. Just take a look at the commitment. Had the ball in his sights, wanted to give it back. Goes right through that hoarding. Amazing commitment, and what a fantastic crowd we have here. The crowd applauding the commitment of this side. Max score 17 20. What a comeback by Punjab. Seven straight points in the last minute or so. It was a 10 point lead for Tamil Nadu. But within the first two and a half minutes of this quarter, mounting that comeback, Punjab, seven quick points based on some solid defense. Good substitution made by the coach as well. Vivek Singh, who had done a very good job, substituted and Jaddu Man coming in, changing the tempo of the game. If that's the game the coach needs to play, keep changing the tempo. Tamil Nadu, on the other hand, will have to be a lot more sober. Play like the team in the lead, controlled aggression, and then quick bursts on the transition. So I think if there is a weakness in this Punjab side, it's on the transition defense. Calm and composed on the set play. It's Sam Jacob calling the shots now. Isolation. Interesting foul called. He didn't feel he did too much. Gurmandir Singh. Pressure on the inbound. Good pressure on the inbound. Just as I said it, the referee blows the whistle. Well done. Babu Man. Nice Jaddu Man. Pick and roll opportunity here. Good pass. Just beyond his reach. Nice work done with the screen, but a touch out by Tamil Nadu. So ball position will still stay with Punjab. Let's watch this closely. Looks for that bounce pass. Finds Jaddu Man free. Jaddu sinks that three. Ten point run for Punjab. Finds that outlet. Jaddu nails that three. Another turnover. Too many unforced errors by Tamil Nadu. Costing them dearly now in the second quarter. And the defensive level of this Punjab side has also gone up. Chaduman. Asking for the screen.
Christian foul there. Possession. It'll be a baseline throw for Punjab. Substitution on the floor. Sam Jacob checks out. Nitungrail comes back in. Good hustle on the defense. On transition, here comes Tamil Nadu. Probably the right time to use Sugantan more. Tamil Nadu should think about it. Good defense. Saib Jeet there. Here's Jaduman. Good ball at the other end. Fouled in the paint. Saib Jeet involved in defense and in offense. And that's why we feel that Punjab still have a level to go. It's like driving a car. Punjab has not yet moved out of second gear. They haven't yet used Sahib Jeet and they haven't yet used Jab Sangam. And the 12 and the 14 will start combining for Punjab. The game will become even more interesting. Beautiful move. Awareness. Not just soaking in the pressure, Deepak there spots the run made by Mirtungwil. Jaduman sees the height in front of him, gets conscious. Babuman. Jaduman now. Off the. Oh, off. The speed of the movement just so fast. Gets bumped off the ball, number 14. Jumps on jump there. He'll go to the free throw line for two. He's not a very good shooter. Let's see if he can convert the two. This is the first. This is what he's good at. Number 14, jumps on jump. Shows you why he's in the team. Good put back there. Makes up for those two free throws. Sugantan gets the ball back. Nice baseline drive. Feeds the ball perfectly to Abhimanyu. Court press. Muscle between the two players. Babu Man there going to receive the ball. But some confusion as he got it handed by uh, Gurminder. Tamil Nadu with an opportunity. Get back in the lead. Rejected. What good defense. Sahib Jit. On the transition, this is Tamil Nadu's strength. They make it count. Sugantan receives the ball, goes in. On the transition, Tamil Nadu is far superior than Punjab. Good defense, two on one. Didn't really stand a chance there. Once again, on transition. Making himself big, kickball says the official. It's going to be a reset on the shot clock. Shot clock up to 15 now, so a good 14 seconds with Tamil Nadu to do this. Let's watch Sugantan there. Gets the ball, Mirtungwil on top of the D, perimeter, defense. Good rebound, offensive board for Tamil Nadu. 
And both sit back as well. I had just mentioned that Tamil Nadu needs to use Suganthan more and right away Suganthan with two quick baskets. Well done. Well done. The pass was behind him, but somehow Japsing Jump gets that ball. Two free throws. And once again, the pressure. Can he convert at least one of these? like the attitude of this Punjab side. They know he's not a great shooter. This time he converts one. Tamil Nadu up by three. Opportunity now to tie the game, Punjab. Can they keep calm? Good outlet ball. Jamsan Jam hands it off to Babuman. Feeds the tall pivot player. Sahib Jit makes his way in the paint. Beautiful release. No luck from the ring. Must be disappointed, but here he comes again. Tamil Nadu at the other end. Beautiful lane behind the back. Sugantan. What a move to do it in the game, under pressure. Beautiful layup. <laughs> Tamil Nadu pulling away. Punjab trying to reel them in. What a fantastic quarter two we've had. The first quarter belonged to Tamil Nadu. The second quarter, Punjab outscoring them this far. Reeling these sides in. Punjab calling the plays. Intensity written all over the coaches. Twenty-eight, twenty-four. Tamil Nadu still up by four. But with three minutes left on the quarter, Tamil Nadu in foul trouble. So any fouls that uh, Punjab concede, they will be going to the free throw line. The challenge for Punjab, though, is that two tall players, the two pivots, 14 and number 12, don't shoot very well from the free throw line. Sugantan. Good pass for Abhimanyu. Hassel in the paint. Good defense. Defense under the offensive board. Take a look at that. Commitment by both these sides. Pragalathan being watched carefully. Nice rebound by Abhimanyu. This time it's Sugantan. Babuman with the ball on the transition. Can he get some help? Yes, he can. Chaps on jump. Nicely in using that long arm extension. Could have gotten a foul for this as well. One, two. And the hand on his wrist. Nice ball movement.
coach using these coach using these moments to get a little bit of information onto the court and back to the free throws Abuman should have passed the ball, should have driven in and dished out a pass. Bad decision making. Rebound. Will Punjab learn from their mistakes? Down by three. Too many turnovers, unforced. Abu not really having a great game today. On the change, can just sit out for a little bit, think things, think things over, and then get back in. Gurmandir Singh coming in to join the floor alongside Jaduman. Gurmandir. Sugandhan. He will go to the basket. Foul there. Having a tough job on his hands. Babu Pratap Sood. Finding it hard to keep track of uh, Sugandhan. Two free throws for the young man. Characteristic by Sugandhan standards. Last touch red. Abhiman you with that good offensive rebound. Worth watching again there. Look at that fake, drawing all that attention and then laying it in. Sahib Cheat is very quick off his feet. And realizing that Pragalathan just stitching out a slight fake. Job down by Tamil Nadu 31, Punjab 26, 5 point in favour of uh, the host side. Punjab have done a good job of keeping pace with this team. Supporters of all ages. Enjoying quality basketball here today. Punjab will be hoping to deny Tamil Nadu here. Let's see how good the defense is on the offense. 
Tamil Nadu looking for the weave on the perimeter, drives in. Good defense by Punjab. Can they retain ball possession? Jump ball awarded. So close to the baseline. I thought there might be a line cut call. Ball possession goes to Tamil Nadu. These days, jump ball possessions are awarded alternatively. You have this arrow which is there on the official table. This one's pointing towards Punjab for the next transition. Gurminder almost getting a steal. Open look. Discussion between the two sides. Eventually, possession awarded to Tamil Nadu. It's hardly any time on the shot clock. And they get a whole 14 seconds. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass there. Spotting the movement and right on point keeper. Two quick transitions. Sugantan. Jaduman. Pull up jumper. And with that, we come to the end of the first half. What a strong finish by Tamil Nadu. Building momentum, getting this crowd involved. 35-27. Eight point lead for Tamil Nadu as we move into the halftime break. Taking a look at the highlights of this uh, first half, a brilliant beginning by Tamil Nadu, running away at one point of time to an 18 point lead, led by their star player, the number 10, Pragalathan. Couple of fantastic moves to the basket. In fact, he launched this three from way outside that went in as well. Ably supported on the boards by this young man, Abhimanyu Ji. He too had a good game today.
all set to begin this in half. Punjab versus Tamil Nadu first semi-finals in the men's division. Punjab keeping pace with Tamil Nadu just uh, eight points behind. Pull up jump jumper from way outside, rejected by the ring. Strong performance by Tamil Nadu in the first quarter. Punjab replying in the second quarter. Remains to be seen whether third quarter is, is where the decision of who's going to make it into the finals will take place. Milton Gale there on the sideboard. Inbounding the ball for Tamil Nadu. Carefully watching where options are available to him. Sukantan beats up Imanyu in the paint. Doesn't get the roll. Here's Jadduman. Good pass there on the baseline. Fakes. Anu Pratap Sood, good move to the basket, gets his two. Well done indeed. Here comes Milton Gale, six in the nine. Watch the ball rotation, all five out. Air ball, Sugantan with that rebound. Opportunity for Punjab to cut down into that lead. It's down to six now. Full court pressure by Tamil Nadu. Babu Man forcing the ball to the tall pivot player, Bhanu Pratap. Bhanu Pratap trying to find Sahib Chit. Outlet ball. Babuman drives in. Good move to the basket. All the way through. Nice aggressive move. Here's Abhimanyuji. Ball on the outside. Playing with just one height. Ragalathan calling for the ball. Ball goes the other way. A little outside Sugantan's range. Pull up jumper from top of the D. Post attempt there, no box out taking place. Rebound down goes to Tamil Nadu. Need to box out the shooter. That was the drive in at the other end. Four point lead. It's a slender margin now. Cut down by half. Quick rotation. Here's Milton Will. Nice pass. Drawing the attention towards him and then him giving out that pass. Beautifully captured. Pratan. Nitin Gale. At the other end. Fouled on his way into the paint. there on your focus substituted off the bench and uh, he's been making some good contributions that's the coach checking with the table whether he's gotten the substitutions right Pragalathan getting the roll from the ring Point lead. Four quick points for Tamil Nadu. Babu Man in traffic gets fouled. Good rebound, offensive rebound, opportunity for Punjab. Good ball rotation. Nice pass, Abhimanyu. Not getting the finish with Pragalathan here for the, for the pull-up jumper. This time the rebound once again goes to Abhimanyu and he gets the two. Punjab not boxing out enough. 
The only team that boxed out really well in this competition was Maharashtra, that too in the women's division. So Gantan misses that easy basket. Chaduman. Anupratap Sood. Let down by his finish. Mithunvel. Pragalathan calling for a screen. Babu Mahan. Bhanu. Usually a good set shooter. Good positional play by Pragalathan. Establishing a low post position, and then once he gets that position, doesn't want to let go. Anupratap Sooth, all the way. Suganta. Good ball distribution, Pragalathan. Asking for a screen. Works with Abhimanyu. Sugantham. Quick hands there by Babu Man. Substitutions on the floor. The initial moments of this quarter, Punjab came out strong, cutting down into that lead of Tamil Nadu. But then subsequently, Tamil Nadu changed their tactics, changed their defense. And when that defensive changes came into play, Punjab have been finding it hard to score. Since then, it's been 10 straight points to Tamil Nadu, 43-31 now. Back to that comfortable eight-point cushion. Twelve points now the lead. Confirmation on your screens. Forty-three thirty-one. Basketball semi-finals, the first one in, in the men's division being brought to you here, part of the Kelo India Youth Games. <laughs> Tamil Nadu hosting this year's edition. Coverage being brought to you from four different cities across the state. Typically, Kelo India usually localized one particular city. But Tamil Nadu is such a vast state, a rich culture across us, all these locations. Coimbatore, Madurai, Chennai, steeped in history. Babu Man passes that ball. Under pressure, getting cornered there, but fouled. It's an opportunity for Punjab to build again. Amandeep inbounding, owning that ball for Punjab. Good rebound here. Pull up jumper, not getting the roll. Yes, he does. Finally, Jump Sanjum. Sam Jacob feeds the ball with a beautiful bounce pass. And the pass is that good, the finish becomes easier. Outlet pass to Amandeep. Gets the quick two.
defense just not working for Punjab. Aman, open look for the basket. Good rebound, under pressure. Gurmandir. Last touch, Tamil Nadu, so ball possession will stay with Punjab. Opportunity for them to work out some moves. 14 point lead. Can't afford to let go anymore. Jaduman. He nets that too. Amandeep put two crucial baskets. The bench has been productive for Punjab. Uh, Vivek Singh in the first half as well. Good defense and a couple of good scoring opportunities. It remains to be seen if uh, Amandeep can have a similar impact and if the coach uses him well. Good defense. Nice move on the crossover. Should go all the way. Chaduma, take your time. Takes the foul. Sam Jacob committing the foul against Jaduman. Change being called out. Sugandhan comes back. Sam Jacob will take a rest. Conversations taking place there. It's getting these substitutions right. Jadu uses screen. Difficult move all the way to the ring. That would have been difficult. Amandeep. Bad pass there. Here's an opportunity. Sugandhan at the other end. Not able to collect the ball. Jump, sun, jump. Vivek, good option to bring into the game. Amandeep nets that three. Three baskets ever since he's been in. Look at that set shooter. Didn't have to move his feet. That's the kind of ball rotation Punjab needs. Good decision to bring in this man, Vivek. Taking up the level of defense on the court. Foul counted four. We just have about two minutes left in this third quarter. Vivek with the ball. Needs help. Aman. Vivek. Good job beating the pivot. Reach and foul there. Well spotted by the official. Sugantan there with the infringement. Going to the free throw line for two. Side G. This is the first. These boys at the youth stage need to work on their free throw conversions. 
And nothing like a big tournament like this for you to realize what the gaps are in your game. This, these moments keep memories in your mind and then you know that, hey, if I want to make it at a bigger level, I need to improve. Bhanu Pratap Sood. Opportunity for that bounce pass there, should have gone earlier. Touch says the official. So it's going to stay Tamil Nadu ball. 49 40. Crucial turnover. This ball possession. Good pass for Suganthan there. Pragalathan taking their time. Violation called. Off the screen. Oh, lovely. Hanu getting lucky with that. You can't do that every day of the week, but sometimes these things do work for you. Showing the presence of mind that he didn't have any option available to him to pass. Eventually goes for the attempt on his own. Pragalathan now. That's a mismatch. Rebounding being weak for Punjab today. The boxing are just not happening underneath the ring. Too many opportunities for offensive boards. 42-49, seven point game, it's close. Any teams keen to win. Pragalathan now at the free throw line. 49-42, seven-point game. Sinks the first three throw. Good move to the basket, off the glass for two. <laughs> Foul end count. So he's going to go for one free throw. Two points in Tamil Nadu's kitty and an opportunity to make it a three-point play. Early entry. So ball possession stays with Punjab. Fourteen seconds left. Can they create an opportunity? Pull up jumper. Good this time. Chaps on jump. Under pressure. One second left. Close attempt. Good finish by Punjab. Keeping this a seven point game at the end of the third quarter. At one point of time, it looked like Punjab will trail by a huge margin. But somehow clawing their way back in, a couple of good defensive substitutions. Amandeep coming in, the number four, three or four quick attempts and defensive interceptions. Vivek Singh, the number nine, the tall lanky Sardar coming in. Good defensive pressure being applied, restricting the scoring opportunities for Tamil Nadu. Confirmation of the match score at the end of quarter three, Tamil Nadu 53. Punjab 46.
low scoring game because both these teams are pretty good with their defense. Three officials there on your screen discussing intensely. These are also moments that uh, officials get to kind of see how the game is progressing, which player is more aggressive, have they let go of some fouls. Amar, Anupam and Ajmer. Ajmer is on your left, Anupam is on your right. And Amar right down the middle. Intensity from Tamil Nadu. Starting this fourth quarter, the ultimate quarter, with a chant. That's a view of the commentator's box where I'm sitting, surrounded by some of these players. Courtside action available to us as we bring this semi finals to you. Any moment now, all set to go. Tamil Nadu with ball possession to get things going in this fourth quarter. Neptun Gwail. Sugantan looking to feed Abhimanyu. Baseline drive. Ball possession, last touch, Punjab. Ball possession going to stay with Tamil Nadu. Crucial ball possession for Punjab, this is. If they can restrict the scoring, nothing like it. One attempt. Deepak. Solid conversion there. Good rebound. Opportunity for Punjab. Cut down that lead from eight to six. Hustle for the rebound. Good job there. Commitment shown. He's not letting go. Eventually, ball possession with Tamil Nadu. Watch, being watched by Aman. Blocking foul called by Anupam. Drive in. Sugandan. The two tall pivot players in front of him, but in spite of that, having the courage to go up against them. Jaduman should take his time. No one there for the rebound. Wrong time to take that kind of an attempt. On the transition, take the price for that. And as a coach, sometimes you want to be ahead of this. Realizing that uh, a player is taking some forced attempts. Probably right time for a substitution. Good rebound. Getting lucky there. Amandeep on the side. Chaddu. 
Takes the foul, well taken there. Obstruction. Gurmender will go to the free throw line for two. Pulling away Tamil Nadu. 12 point lead now. Converts the first. Just allowing the cloud noise to subside. Mekun Vail sinking that three from outside. Fifteen point momentum. Technical blown there by the official. Sometimes the officials request the coaches to keep their calm. Pragalathan now. Misses the first free throw. It was a technical, so ball possession also will stay with Tamil Nadu. Fifteen point lead for Punjab to fight back. Abhimanyu. Rebound. Babuman. Good ball rotation. Expecting a little too much from Japsamam. Pass there, trying to work off the screen. Pull up jumper from zero. And the offensive board also going to Tamil Nadu. Set shooter, getting enough time. No boxing out taking place. Rebound after rebound going to Tamil Nadu. Foul there in the paint, and he's going to go to the free throw line perhaps. Pragalatha. Ragalathan uncharacteristically missing that free throw. Just a little too much for Milton Vale. Apologizing immediately. Good team spirit. 61 47, 15 minutes to go. 15 points difference and uh, 6 minutes to go rather. And that's that three. Crucial point. Manu Katapsud. Top of the D. Shots stops his dribble. 
sinks that three. Ragalathan at the other end, clearing up space for a baseline drive. Sukantan does the same. Creates space for himself. Quick hands. This time by uh, Jap Sangam. Substitution on the floor as uh, Sajid sits out for a bit and uh, Uchwal checks in. Jumper from outside, just shot there. Good rebound, Ujwal immediate impact. Jaduman. Spot. Jadu. This time he gets it going, Ujwal. Defensive rebound and a contribution at the other end. Two things working for him right away. Off the bench, the production for Punjab has been good. The impact players have made an impact. It's the regular players that are not able to get the same amount of contribution that they've been getting consistently throughout this tournament. Eleven point game now. Punjab will look to deny Tamil Nadu the opportunity to score. Under pressure. Take a look at this. Gets the ball, gets that elevation, and it's a jumper. Thanu does that too. Not a three, responds with a two rather. Deep. Gives it to Abhimanyu. Hands it over. Nice easy rebound. Hanu. The switch is done. He needs to feed the pivot player. What's the point if you have Uchwal on the ground being marked by the lower shorter man? Poor execution by the ball handler. At the other end, no problem in execution. Travel up and show you how it's done. Off the glass for two. Every time Punjab manages to inch closer towards Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu combine a couple of plays. And the moment that competition and that pressure is felt, Punjab seems to find it a little tough. 12 points now in favor of Tamil Nadu, 66-54. And that's what these teams are playing for, the spot in the finals of the Kelo India Youth Games. Pictures being brought to you exclusively via the Doodarshan Network. You can watch these games again and again. If you are a player and you've, you've been performing in these competitions, you can watch your own footage. All the action available on YouTube. Punjab seem all set to mount that final challenge. Four minutes left. It's a do or die. Half a quarter for Punjab. The dream is to make it into the finals. The dream is to lift the trophy. But the dream starts now in the semi-finals. If you can't make it past this barrier, there's nothing much left to do. Jaduman. Feeds Amandi. Pull up jumper. In and out. That was close. Panu Pratap watches his man closely. They switch to zone defense. Interesting. Will that help? 
needs two of his men. Can this be a strong move to the basket? No, it can't. Pragalathan there denies him. At the other end, Abhimanyu fouled as he went up for that. Abhimanyu finds himself on the free throw line. Two attempts. Looking that, looking to stretch that lead of 12 to 14. Red says the official so ball possession will be with Tamil Nadu, the host. Up by 13. Mithun Vail finds the outlet pass, Sam Jacob. Mithun Vail on zero. Three-pointer from zero. Sinks that in. Hard to miss those neon green shoes. Tough defense everywhere. Even with a comfortable 16-point lead, the defense levels of Tamil Nadu have been intense. Two minutes and 54 seconds left in this game. Good hustle. Panu, pull-up jumper. Just short. Pragalathan. Their time. The lead is good. They need to drain the clock. Raghulathan, baseline. Nathan Whale asking for some support. Gets it. Raghulathan and him combined really well. One second to go. Pull up jumper. Sugandhan nails it perfectly. Talk about draining the clock, draining it to perfection. Jaduman at the other end. No pivot positions being created for Punjab right throughout this game. Coach and management will have to look hard at themselves. Did they create the right formation right throughout the semi-finals? Having the height of the two Sardars, the 12s and the 14s, could they have played this game differently by establishing low posts? Two minutes left. 16 points, the difference between these two sides. Seventy-two fifty-four. Four seventy-two confirmation of that score line. Eighteen points, a huge lead, considering we have only about two minutes to go. If this was anywhere around twelve to fifteen points, I think Punjab would have felt they still have a chance. But when the lead is eighteen, I think uh, definitely Tamil Nadu are clear runners. Sinks the first one. Good minder. This is the second. This is the officials taking their own time. Takes the second one. Tamil Nadu will do well once again to take the time. 
15 seconds left. Build that play. Good defense. Sahib Jeet Singh, fantastic block there. Shaduman. Good play, but the degree of difficulty of some of these attempts is so high. Conversion rates will suffer. But nice hustle by these young lads. A minute and 30 to go. Jacob in trouble. Milton Whale all the way. Now to get the ball again. 12 seconds on the shot clock. It's time from zero. Again. Air ball. There's Jaduman. No luck. Perimeter shooting for Punjab has let them down today. One minute to go. Punjab still giving it their all. Fantastic to see the commitment of these young kids. Just not giving up. A region foul. This one going against Jaduman. It's going to be two free throws as the team is in foul trouble. To look at the officials' table, the officials and the referees. We have an international referee who's also an instructor, Mr. Vinu, also present here, making notes about the performance of some of these referees, and uh, he will be sharing the feedback with them as well. Sinks that three. Little too late in the day. Last 30 seconds. Here comes Tamil Nadu. Abhimanyu. Travelling violation there. 27 second left. Chattu. Good On the perimeter, Aman feeds the pivot player. It's the kind of play that they required when they had the two high posts. This time getting that point to go in. It's easier to score in this situation when there is much, isn't much pressure. Under pressure, Tamil Nadu delivered. This crowd. Keep up. James are three with point one to go. What a celebration this is going to be for the side. What a celebration this is going to be for the state. The officials correcting the clock. It was showing point one. But this. 14 points. 75 to 61. As this Tamil Nadu side registers and books the position for itself in the finals. Confirmation of the scoreline in front of you 75 61. The host Tamil Nadu, the boys make space in the finals.
Ragalathan Abhimanyu. At the other end, Babu Man, Jaddu Man. As you watch the highlights, both these sides were especially good with their defense in the initial segment of this game. The first quarter and the second quarter unstoppable. As the game progressed, slowly and steadily, Tamil Nadu began to establish their class. Structured plays, plays, the more thought out strategies, the visual skills of these players. Jaduman there, number five, productive as ever. At the other end, of course, Pragalathan, number 10. This young man had a good game as well, number eight, Sugantan. Impact off the bench. What he didn't finish, his friend Pragalathan would. At the other side, the two tall Sardars, number 12 and number 14, Sahib Jeet Singh and uh, Chap Sangam. Both of them tried their best to keep the players at bay, but things eventually were a bit too hard for them to pull off. Special mention must be made for the top pivot player, Abhiman Muji. He had a good game too. And off the bench for uh, Punjab, some very crucial contributions. Uh, number nine, Vivek Singh, and uh, number four, Amandeep. And without them, Punjab wouldn't have even made 61. So Tamil Nadu 75. Punjab 61 and with this we wrap up this we wrap up the coverage for the semi-finals in the first division and then uh, this team Tamil Nadu will find their way into the finals let's meet post lunch to determine who these other two teams will be to face the host in the finals of the women's and the men's division